Now we're down right on the Pigeon River here. This is close to where the dam used to be here at Song of the Morning. You can see that there's water is flowing pretty well and there's our present bridge and that is the site of where the dam used to be. It was installed in the late 50s, 1957 by J. Oliver Black. Well, hi, it's July 18th. Very beautiful summer day here at Song of the Morning. And I'm right at the crux of <laughs> the Pigeon River and the road leading into the retreat, which used to be a dam from 1957 until it was taken out a couple of years ago. And uh, it was controversial because dams are not generally good for the environment. And uh, the, the, the fishermen organizations especially keep close tabs on that. They don't even like uh, natural dams such as beaver dams. But uh, along the course of the way, we were um, asked, almost forced to take the, the dam out, our, our, the organization of the yoga retreat. So I'm gonna be telling that story over the next few days. Um, this, where I'm standing, used to be a lake, and it used to be, oh, I don't know, 12 to 20 feet deep in some places. But then gradually the silt builds up and this is a problem with uh, just about all dams the the silt will build up and cause a problem um, so that's the problem uh, we had along the way where um, for various circumstances the gates of the dam had to be opened and silt would be let downstream and that would kill uh, a large amount of fish especially the trout who are sensitive to uh, to things like that so um, this is a very beautiful place. I'm enjoying looking at the flowing river here. It's flowing generally pretty fast. And um, <laughs> if I were here uh, 30 years ago or so, I would definitely be underwater and I might even be sucked in by the, the turbines of the dam. That used to be hydroelectric generator, which would uh, generate thousands of dollars of electricity for the retreat. Now uh, we have outside electricity. In those days, we had no outside electricity. It was our only source of electricity was the hydroelectric generator. Um, so th this is the change that has come about. Things change. It's sad in a way to lose the lake, but it, it does, I have to admit, it does feel more natural with the flowing water and without the noise of the hydroelectric generator. Uh, when you're at a yoga retreat, you want to be somewhere where there's less noise. And uh, even uh, Vivekananda said in his book on Raja Yoga that yogis are supposed to avoid things like waterfalls, which cause undue noise if you can avoid it. Another thing he said yogis are supposed to uh, avoid in order to promote the peacefulness and ease of their meditations is avoid fires. So fires, waterfalls, who knew? <laughs> well, the modern day yogis have to put up with a lot more noise and distractions in their meditations besides uh, waterfalls and fires, and uh, they do. There are some yogis of great expertise living in, in the modern day world in countries all over the world. And coming up in the future, I'm gonna be going to the convocation in downtown Los Angeles, which is the Yogananda Convention, to put it simply, and it's Self-Realization Fellowships gathering of uh, people from all over the world, and I'm looking forward to that coming up August 6th through 12th. So that'll be coming up in future video blogs. Well, anyway, just enjoying the beauty of the Pigeon River here at Song of the Morning up in northern Michigan.